Hello and welcome back to Peaceful Shumi Village. It's all atmospheric all the time here! Well, okay. Not all the time, clearly. Still, much of the time! Oh, busy, busy, busy. I guess we need to talk to the artisan. Sculptor, rather. Oh, and he is offering you that? Hmm. Wow, that is a great honor. It's rarely given, especially to outsiders. Okay, shall we get to work? As you can see, Sculptor has the very big responsibility of making this statue. To finish it, Sculptor will need to do additional research on several stones. Sculptor would like to ask you to go get them. All right. Sculptor needs five kinds of stone. Shadow, wind, life, water, and blue. I think that last one is less a type and more a uh, description, but anyway. You'll be able to tell by their names. Don't worry, when in doubt, examine them carefully. Also, there's a specialist in the village who can help you. Okay, let's start with the blue stone. So, uh... Everything on this list you can find inside of Shumi Village. Just just so that's clear. Uh, case in point. Almost forgot. Almost missed it. But then I noticed it in the background. This stone is blue. Hey, don't tell me this is the blue stone. What? Oh! Oh! Sculptor completely forgot! Sculptor already had it! Well, that's one down and four to go. Okay, next please go find some wind stones. Let's go look! Hmm... Perhaps, uh... Perhaps, uh... Hmm... Does it? There's a breeze coming from it. Okay then. It's a stone that generates wind. I guess that makes sense to call it breeze stone then. The, now the downside of this part is that we're going to be walking back and forth a whole lot. Uh, the bright side is... Draw points! I'm just waiting for the one where I've lost a level because of all this... Because I've been walking... This whole side quest section, I've been doing so much walking to different areas and not battling anything. Okay, I'll talk to you in a minute, but first... More of that, please. Is this it? Yes, that is the windstone. Three to go. Next, Sculptor needs some life stones. Okay. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to fix my freaking magic. I'll do it after this time. I, this, I mean it. This time I mean it. Or so they claim. These stones are under the roots. This must be the life stone. Well, it does seem to have a lot of life growing on and on, around and out of it, so... That makes sense. I guess. Wow, 
Why, yes, that is the lifestone. Next, shadow. Well, off we go, again. This is the one I... I mean, as long as you you realize that they're all inside of Shumi Village, it's not like this is a hard side quest. It's just run around. You can literally accomplish it running around mashing the circle button until you have found all of the stones. Uh, having said that, this is de <laughs> this is the is I think definitely the easiest one to miss. Hmm. There's something weird going on in Fearvine's coat there. Like he's clearly not sitting on anything. His coat is hanging straight down. Oh, that's... yeah. They didn't add an extra joint to his coat like they did with with uh, Renoa's, clearly. Okay, uh, well. Fine. Yes, I want to use the draw point. I don't care. What the hell else am I going to spend my money on? Like, I have so much money. Uh, there we go. The Shadow Stone is a sh stone that we picked up in a shadow. Yep. You are not going insane. <laughs> That's something that actually just happened. <laughs> Although, I suppose you would be forgiven for thinking you are. Okay! And that just leaves the... the last stone. The... I want to say the water stone? I'm pretty sure it's the water stone. Hmm, that frog. Yes, that is the shadow stone. Wonderful. Well, off we go, I guess. Really, they should just let you collect all of them at once, I think. I mean, this is 100% just a time waster thing, right? So, uh... Pick up a stone from the pond. I mean, it is water, so... You know, this... You know... Can... I, I can't help but think, this place is over 300 meters underground. Everything in this place is a carefully crafted environment. With that in mind, this is a... <laughs> this is a stone we put by the pond. <laughs> oh, I thought for sure that one would work. <laughs> okay. That was still funny. Uh, I think I did actually need to do that, though. Um, oh. Huh? Do you mind if I take the stone? Go ahead. Artisan only uses it for washing. Which implies that it's a stone that actually creates water. I mean, at very least, it's clearly involved in water. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, that last fake out is actually great. <laughs> but what I was saying, right? This is like a really short quest. It's kind of a time waster. It's blatantly a fetch quest, so it would be nice if it let you fetch all of them at once. Maybe accepting the water stone at the end there. Hmm. Intro. 
interesting. Actually, no. What do you mean? We don't need any of these stones to finish the statue. Say what? Then what was the point? Perhaps they wanted us to get acquainted with the village. And that last stone. You wanted us to visit the artisan's house, right? That's why it wasn't by the pond. Of course, there was no need to put a stone in the inn. If we were going to have to stay there, here, we would inevitably go there. Yes. You pretty much gave it away in the beginning with that blue stone. There's no way anyone can miss that. Look how big it is! Sculptor is most impressed. You were the first one to perceive that much. There was a purpose to making you help us. We wanted you to appreciate our village, and I certainly do appreciate it. That in turn would make us happy, and, a, and give us inspiration to finish the statue. It was definitely fun watching you go around our village. Hmm. It was a simple game, but I thought it was pretty clever. Sculptor is very pleased to hear that. You know, we don't do this all the time. Please understand that we went through all this trouble because we wanted you to elect our village. I can appreciate that sentiment. Okay. Let's go village. Let's go village. No, let's go visit the Eldar. This is not the Eldar. Uh, hmm. Oh, hey. Yet more Blizzaga. Where the heck did I get a hundred Blizzaga? I must have gotten that from an item. Hmm. The Elder will now present you with a gift. For your services, it gives me great pleasure to present you this. Um, Elder, attendant is having a hard time seeing it. Oh. Am I missing something here? There's nothing there. Oh, isn't it amazing? When he holds something in his palm, you cannot even see it. Such is the power of the person who has attained eldership. <laughs> what else? The honor of seeing his hand. These great hands have shoveled the earth. These great hands have created wonders. These great hands justify his eldership. We are proud to send you off with this gift. Do stop by again. Good day. <laughs> Please feel free to stop at any time. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. But, hold on. We forgot to give you a souvenir. It's embarrassing to present you with this silly thing after we have already get, after what we have already given you. But, here you are. A Phoenix Finion! Which is really valuable. Although, we may... Well, I'm, I have to go, use it at some point, right? Like, say, those wackos gave you something. Maybe that story about the Elder's Hand is true. I couldn't see anything. Maybe. Ah, fine. I'll explain it for you, Renoa. Irvine's just lucky he's around to hear it. I think it was true. He has kept his hands concealed while we met him. Judging from this place, they're pretty advanced, so they can't be stupid. They probably knew that the silly hand thing wasn't going to impress us. They sincerely admire Laguna, so they wanted to treat us kindly since we know him. 
Their kind gesture just came out weird, that's all. But at least they tried. I think overall, it was a decent, heartfelt welcome. Yeah, well, we got a little breather. That's good. You might even say that that one of their objectives was to give us a breather. Hmm. The elder humbly concealed his hands. Norg, on the other hand, showed them off. Hmm. Come to think of it, was it Norg a Shumi? He was pretty damn big for a Shumi. What a sham. They probably know. Of course. There was a fierce shrewdness about their eyes, and an unimaginable destiny awaits them. There's no doubt that they know. Then why do you bother with the charade? You should have just said, here, there's nothing. I did not want to give them material things. I wanted to give them a moment of peace. And our heartfelt welcome. You see? You see? I was right. Uh, I may have just remembered that, though. Uh, it's, having played this game before, it's not really fair to say I guessed it ahead of time. Hmm. Sounds like a poor excuse. I have an assignment for you. Assist the sculptor in the shop. You will not rest or sleep until the statue is complete. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. You, you misunderstood me, Elder. Please. Have mercy. No. Okay. Yeah. Shumi are great, man. <laughs> Should we go in? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, attendant don't want to make a statue. Hmm. Right, well, I think there's one or two things I still want to do. I think? Wait. I'm certain... Hmm. Okay. I could have sworn there was still one more thing to do here, though. Like... Oh, maybe that's not until later. Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, we'll just try talking to the, the dudes one more time. Oh! Elder's attendant is going to help me with the statue. Attendant is a candidate to become the next Eldar. So it's very encouraging to receive his help. We should finish in no time. Neat. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this was... More money. Uh, this was Shumi Village. I guess we'll, uh, well, there's still the one more guy here. Not gonna bother going into the inn again. Specialist heard about what happened to Norg. Specialist is not surprised. Many Shumis have left in search of something, perhaps hope, because life here is so destitute. Sad thing is, there's nothing out there, either. They haven't found anything. Instead, they've lost touch with themselves, with who they are. Yeah, we live in different worlds. You are free to determine your fate. We live in the confines of this remote village. That is our fate. But after you make a breakthrough in life, what you see is pretty much the same, out there or in here, specialist thinks. Interesting. Oh, okay. So, uh, once again, let's finish what I was saying before. Uh, that was Shumi Village. Next time, uh, well, I could actually do a, one more side quest thing, but I think next time we will actually progress with the plot. So, uh, yeah. Until then...
This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with me, Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!